Hello and uh, good morning. It is morning here where I am here in the UK. I'm Sandra Pollock and I am welcoming you to my channel. Thank you for joining me, taking a couple of minutes to spend some time with me today. I appreciate that. I want to share with you just to get to refresh your thinking about how you start both your day and anything else that you might be doing. So the topic for today is about our expectations. What is it that we are expecting as we go into anything? So I've titled it, Start by Expecting the Best. Well, for some people that may be hard to do because we live in a world that tells us we shouldn't expect the best. We should expect the worst and plan for that. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't be aware of all the possible outcomes and we shouldn't be aware of um, all the things that could likely happen. But also, we should make sure that we expect the best. As I was meditating this morning, that was a thought that came to me. And I spent some additional time thinking about what that would mean. What would it mean for me? What would it mean for anybody else? Now, we know that you've probably heard the message that where our focus goes, our energy flows. So what that means is if we're focused on expecting things to go wrong, well, all the energy that we are will think, oh, that's something that's important to Sandra. So I will make that happen. And therefore, our energy is focused on creating what we're expecting. So thinking about this whole idea of expecting the best made me think that it's important that we become aware of what we are thinking. We become more aware of what we're expecting. And we question that if we realize that what we are expecting isn't likely to take us to the outcome that we would really want to happen. So are you expecting the best today as you go into your day or as you start a project, as you get ready for a telephone call or a Zoom call or a, a, a Teams call or Skype or whatever we use or you use to communicate today? As you go into that activity, what is your inner expectation? Are you expecting the best? So taking up that, that idea again that where we focus our energy flows into that into creating that we are creators by the way so what is it that you are deep within yourself really creating sometimes we can give ourselves some surface for surface get my teeth in some surface ideas um but deep within that's not always what we are truly expecting to happen so think about what were you expecting and make sure that you focus your expectation and therefore you your energy on expecting the best but sometimes we don't even think about what the best might be in this situation for us and the other people you know when win situation is ideal but what does that look like and even if you're not sure what sort of relationship might you want this um, this activity, this interaction to, to create, to garner. So um, what we expect, we get. So whatever you're expecting out of a situ situation, an activity, a telephone call, um, even, you know, a written, uh, whether it's email, you know, handwritten, whatever you send, whatever you share out there, what are you expecting the return on that to be? So today, Start by thinking, being more clear about what it is that you are feeling and thinking within and ask yourself, is that thought, that focus, that expectation taking me where it is that I truly want to go? If it isn't, then take some time to consciously change your expectation. There is nothing that says that you have to expect the worst. You can make a choice about expecting the best, expecting a positive outcome, expecting, you know, an, um, an agreeable outcome, a win-win outcome for both parties or all parties. It is possible. Yes, you still have to work at it. Yes, you still have to prepare and plan and negotiate. But also, 
you, what we expect is more likely what we are going to achieve. So I'm just looking at my notes here. So as I thought about that this morning, I, I, it really made me feel quite positive. And, um, and then I thought, well, how can I push this whole expecting the best thing and I, an and idea? And I thought, well, where am I today? Where am I in this moment? And what am I expecting in this moment? And I began to realize that as I thought about that, I was thinking about more and more positive things. So the other thing that I did in expecting the best today was one of the things that I do most days is that I wrote in my in my journal, you know, about what I'm already grateful for, for. So when you think about expecting the best, that can then help you connect to what's already good in this very moment. So I wrote things, you know, for example, you know, I'm grateful for having a good night's sleep. I'm grateful for waking up revitalized and refreshed this morning. And actually thinking about the last, the, the past, you know, months and weeks, you know, that is an issue. We've all been going through this lockdown situation, difficulties, you know, concerned about how we go forward. So having a good night's sleep, waking up refreshed is actually a positive. It's a good thing. And with that in mind, I can think about, hey, my day's already going well, because why? I'm looking for the good things. So when we think about what we expect, it, our mind focuses on that idea. So if we're expecting things not to go well, we will also be finding things to confirm that expectation. And that continues us on that particular type of journey. On the other hand, if we're open to expecting the best, then you know, we can start by seeing that we are already in a good situation and that can carry us forward on a journey of expectation of more of the same. So as I looked at my day, you know, refreshed and revitalized this morning already, getting up early with enough time to meditate and to write in my journal as I have it here, you know, and therefore looking forward to my day with greater expectation. So as you look into your day, if you're picking this up um, early in the day, or as you look forward to the rest of your day, think about what you are focused on expecting. And if it isn't positive, if it isn't the best, then you have in this moment the opportunity to change your expectation. Even when we are going into situations where our previous experience has not been the great, we can still expect a change. You know, we can still expect a good outcome. And with our expectations, come energy. So why not have the best energy? Why not have a positive energy? And in my experience, energy is like a cloud that you take with you. So what energy are you bringing into any given situation that you are in? What are you expecting to um, to receive out of where you are at this moment and what you were looking into? as you move forward into your day. Whatever that is, if it isn't the greatest, you can change that by deciding everything is a decision, by deciding what it is that you want and what it is that you want to receive. And in that, you're creating expectation. What is your expectation? Always start with expecting the best the best of your day, the best outcome for the interactions, the conversations, the engagements that you are taking part in today, and the best of yourself. Sometimes that can be the thing that holds us back, that we don't expect ourselves to achieve. We don't expect ourselves to be successful. We don't expect ourselves to be able to learn and to grow and to do great things. Why not start there? Expect the best from yourself today. And if you continue with that thought, 
I guarantee that life will bring to you more and more things to confirm that expectation and you will be seeing and recognizing room and remembering that you are good at so many things and you have achieved so much already and that just sets you up to be able to expect greater things of yourself and expect the best from life because life is for you life is not against you at all but that depends on your expectation because your expectation focuses you on what you see and what you achieve. So have a great day or rest of the day, depending on whenever you're picking this up and expect the best because you are the best and we are all growing to be our best selves more and more. So expect the best from your day. Expect the best from everything that you engage with today and expect the best from yourself because you have so, so much more to give. If you would like some help and support, then that is uh, what I'm also here to offer. Contact me. My details are scrolling across the screen at this moment. I do one-to-one -one coaching, group coaching, workshops, and training on people development, leadership, and mastery of yourself and you, you, what you do, your skills, your abilities, that sort of thing. So thank you again for joining me. Get in contact and let me help and support you to being your better and best self. And today, expect the best because you are worth it. I look forward to catching up with you again another time. Thank you again for joining me and uh, I will see you again soon. Sandra Pollock signing out for now. Take care. Bye-bye.